Hi everybody, I have uploaded here a sample of our master class, Master Your Journey with Grace with Beth George and myself, if you want to take a look and see what we're doing bi-weekly. Hi everybody, welcome to our master class where we are learning to master our journey with grace. Today we are starting out and I want to introduce my good friend Beth George who has pretty much been on a parallel path with me for the past about four years. And it's one of those things where we can go without talking for months and then we talk and we've had the same, um, I don't know what you want to call it, lessons. <laughs> the same. Yeah, I'd say. It's, it, it's sort of the same experience, it, like the same underlying experiences and lessons that came to us in different ways. It, they always tend to follow the same path, even though it's not the exact same set of circumstances, we always find the same common thread, which has been incredible. Yes, and Beth is a very hard inner work person like me. I don't know how to say it. Like we really have taken the reins so we could you know, move through this and be able to come out the other side and work with other people. You're never done, of course, um, but today, I just want to start this off with a, a little bit of an energy update so we can start where we are starting from, see where we are starting from, and I'll give my side of it, and then Beth will give hers, usually similar but different, you know, we, we both have different ways of looking at it, which I think helps people in the class, and so where we're at right now in energy-wise is we are at the end of a cycle, a few year cycle that was very difficult for those on the spiritual journey. Um, there was a lot of inner work that needed to be done. And at this point in the journey, at this point, the that cycle is ending and a new cycle is trying to come in and it's like going from rain showers to sun. And it really honestly is. The next cycle wants to be happiness and beauty and sunshine. And so what's going on right now for a lot of people is you kind of feel like you're getting smacked in the back of the head to finish up things, energies that you haven't fully processed and integrated so that you can move forward into this and start to use your words and your energy to attract what you're looking for, what you want in this next cycle. So give your take on that. Yeah, well, not surprisingly, um, fairly similar. I think so many people on the spiritual path, you know, myself, yourself included, have really started off as people pleasers. And so this cycle has made us move from pleasing other people and finding joy from giving and helping other people to turning it inside and really facing everything you needed to face to be able to be the true you. It's taking off all those layers of programming, of belief, of everything else and becoming who you actually are. And as in everything in spirituality, it comes full circle because now that I have done that work, people tend to come to me and say, I need your advice. Can you help me? And <laughs> it's so funny because everything I ever wanted from that point, you know, from that part of my life has come back around. It's taken several years, you know, and it has not been an easy time. There have been a lot of tears <laughs> um, and a lot of lessons, but, you know, I can't look back and think it's anything but worth it. And I think, you know, that's, that's been the past several years and where we stand right now, in my opinion, I have this fantastic image in my head that I, I get when I meditate of being connected to um, both my inner being and the sun. So to me, that's the, the masculine and the feminine balance and the, the energies coming in at the same time. And literally every decision I make, I'm encouraged to pause, take a breath and check in. Whether it's the vegetables I'm picking at the grocery store, <laughs> if I'm gonna do this or that now, if I'm going to bed, like it does not matter how small the decision is, checking in and making sure it is right for now is, is where it's at. Because honestly, if I check in now, five minutes later, I very well, very well may have a different answer um, because everything is so much in flux and changing right now. Oh, absolutely. 